Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. This is Kevin Harlan, and by my side, Chris Weber and Greg Anthony. From the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. We've got the Detroit Pistons taking on the Charlotte Hornets. So the Hornets win the tip. And now the opening lineup for Detroit. Joe Dumars is out there with Thomas. That's Hill. Then there's Wallace. And it's Lanier in at the five. And Hayward gets it to go. Look, with good size and underrated athleticism, Hayward's able to muscle through the contest. Now here is Hill. Outside Thomas. It's back to Hill. Count it from 12. Uh, good job taking advantage of the size mismatch. There's no way that jumper's getting blocked. And here's Rogier. He brings it up for the Hornets. And the layup's good off the glass. A clever play. Rogier able to navigate through the contact to a strong finish. Out of minute played so far here in the first. Dumars dishes to Hill. Pass to Thomas. Here's Wallace. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Oh, it's simple. When you fail to put a body on someone, you're inviting a breakdown on the defensive glass. Now, here's Ball. A shot by Hayward. Wide open. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Hayward's got five points so far. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. I did speak with the Pistons head coach for a little while. He said priority number one is to not let these guys get going from the perimeter. Do not let them start getting open threes. It's a recipe for disaster. Kevin? Thanks, David. Devising a strategy to take away that three-point shot. Dumars misses. We've seen a quick start here for the Hornets. It's a three-point game. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. Oh, I thought that one was going to go down. The mid-range jumpers. Oh, man, that's usually a bunny with the deep playing soft like that. Now, here's Bridges. Ball feeling it out a bit. Just five to shoot. From deep. It's hauled in by Lanier. Pistons trail by three. In the corner, Wallace with it. Goes back up. Lanier, that's good. Now, with all the intensity he plays with, boxing him out is a chore. A tough one. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Deep two from Ball. And the Hornets miss again. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. No, you're right. He'd take that 10 out of 10 times. He's not going to miss any of those. They now take the lead. Hill's got his second bucket of the game to go. And when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. Ball finds Rogier. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Awesome body control from Rozier that time. Real hard to get a shot up and in while taking a hit. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. And looking back last season, how about 87% from the line? So that's obviously nothing to sneeze at. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. Well, it's clear that Rozier has a lot of talent. I mean, now the next step is seeing him become a better distributor. Outside Dumont. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. And 
so it's Detroit with the ball. Lock at six. Fires from the corner. That's good on the jump shot. We are finding the weakness in the defense. That's the court savvy of Thomas at work. And here is Ball. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Hayward against Hill. Hayward kicks to Rozier. On the top of the key. That one goes in. Rozier's got seven points in the game. Looking confident. All Rozier needs is a little room to get it off. And he's, he's taking this one. Master Lanier. It's Dumars on the wing. Inside. That's good from Thomas on the assist by Dumas. And, and though Thomas is great from the perimeter, he has a toughness and, and a willingness to go in amongst the trees and, and kind of mix it up. Now, here's Washington. Rozier, the pass to Hayward. Ball against Thomas. And then Washington with the dunk. What footwork by Washington works the play to perfection and gets free for a nice shot. The Pistons trailing. And the pass to Thomas. Hangs in midair and converts on the double clutch layup. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. It's good. Nine points in the game so far. How about he has yet to miss 4-4 to start. Outside Hill. Over Hayward. Another shot. Ball is trying to break free. Lanier, that's good. Uh, toughness and energy on the boards. An easy putback to show for. So time Charlotte out, time calls out. timeout. They're first. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. Now that's what coaches are paid to do, right? I mean, curious to see what they go with here. Zellers checked in for Charlotte. On defense, the Pistons. Ball, the pass to Hayward. Hayward is double. Bridges, no one around him. A three-pointer, no good. And here's Wallace. He'll bring it up for the Detroit Pistons. Here's Hill. Lanier. With the second effort, and it's good on the layup. Lanier's got six. Charlotte trailing. Rozier with the ball. Nine points in the game so far. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And the Pistons with possession here. Now Dumars. Here's Thomas to the inside. Lanier. Good, and the assist goes to Thomas. Thomas got three assists in the game. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Now here's Zeller. No points in the game yet for him. Here's Lanier. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. 
His teammates keep getting him the ball in his favorite spots. He's done a lot for his shooting position. Pass to Zeller. Now, here's Rogier, covered by Dumont. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And Detroit has possession. Guy is a potent offense right now. You know what, guys? And they're playing with a certain amount of assuredness in their game. That type of confidence is what leads teams to having success. Oh, even from that range, the floater is one of the toughest shots in the game. And the Hornets call time here. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Poor rotations. I mean, slow help and just not enough toughness on the interior. They've got a lot to talk about. So an almost entirely new group in now for Charlotte. Biombo, he's checked in for Bridges. Nick Daniels comes in for Gordon Hayward. Malik Monk, he's checked in for Ogier. And Devontae Graham subbed in for Ball. The shot by Monk is no good. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Hornets trail by eight. Graham inside the line. Nice spin off the left rim and in. You know, not necessarily what you're looking for, but still able to convert. And Stackhouse kicks to Rodman. From deep, Phillips. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Graham, the pass to Biombo. That's tipped, and he gets it back. Detroit leading by nine. Down low. Here's Stackhouse. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Already they've piled up eight second chance points. Detroit shooting their first free throw of the game. You know, after that tremendous collegiate career, Stackhouse came into the NBA with a ton of buzz, and he has not disappointed. He's an offensive force to be reckoned with. Now here's Graham. Here's Biombo. The basket is good off the assist from Graham. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. Yeah, and so far, both teams have been outstanding at the offensive end, but we've got a lot of game left to play. Here's Stackhouse. He lobs up the alley-oop pass. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Now here's Graham. It's good. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, the D is worrying too much about the other four guys. I mean, they can't give him open jump. Now here's Griffin, and the slam by Blake Griffin. I, I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Going for the juggler right off the bat. I mean, jumping out to an impressive early lead. Monk with the ball, defended by Griffin. Back to Monk. Charlotte moving the ball around. Down to five on the shot clock. Graham from outside. Rodman grabs the miss. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It goes on Cody Zell. And Billups is a clutch performer, someone who isn't afraid of taking big shots. I just love how fearless he is. And so Billups nails both of them. Oh, you can get spoiled watching him at the line. I mean, you just expect him to make every one every time. Phillips against Graham. He kicks it to Biombo. Graham dishes to McDaniels. Releases from 15. A shot. No good. And Detroit the other way now. 
Now Detroit moving it up. Here's Rodman. It's rebounded by Charlotte. 109 left to play here in the first. Graham, the pass to Monk. Back to Graham. Puts it up from 15. The three. That shot off. Pistons leading by 12. Outside Billups. To the paint. And Griffin with the score. The assist by Billups. And they have owned the paint so far. And the score reflects it. Well, you think defensively that you try to pack in the lane. I mean, but that, then that opens up some opportunities for the shooters. 24 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. He's gone two for two at the line so far. Free throw drops for Chauncey Billups. Detroit making a switch here. And so Billups nails both of them. And so Graham will bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets. They trail by 16. Get there, get there. Pass to Zeller. The basket is good off the assist from Graham. Yeah, Zeller is a talent you can't leave unchecked inside. He'll take that shot every chance he gets. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And so it's the Detroit Pistons sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. They've got their field goal percentage to thank for that. They've been hot from all over the floor tonight. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And Stephen Clark Pistons pretty much in control here. Just cashing in on second chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. Well, it's part of their strategy coming in, no doubt. And, and there may not be that much their opponent can do about it. Pistons leading by 14. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter to play. On the floor for Detroit, we've got DeBusher. He's out there with Jerry Stackhouse. John C. Billups out there with Lambeer. It's Bing in at the point. And McDaniels. And Zeller kicks to McDaniels. Passes it to Graham. Fires the three. A putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the work ethic of Zeller. Now that's what makes him dangerous when scoping out opportunities on the offensive glass. Always going up for the alley-oop here. And Dave DeBusher with the slam. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive scene. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. The D hanging tough and stopping what would normally have been an easy lay -in. To the middle. The kick out to Billups. And he's good on the three ball. Billups has got ten points. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Monk, the pass to Zeller. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Zeller's got four points now in the quarter. And we all know Monk likes to shoot, but their great decision, getting it to their open teammate. The dish to Stackhouse. Now the pass to Lambeer. Pass to DeBusher. 
kicks it to Stackhouse. Six to shoot. And a miss there on the triple. Hornets trail by 15. But no one around him. No good from outside. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Here's Bing. And he makes good on the layup. Bing's got his first basket. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. You have to go to your best scores. I mean, it's a smart strategy, and so far, it's paying off in this game. It's it alive, controls the rebound, and puts it back up and in. Biombo's got his second bucket. Oh, and a nice job of turning that miss into two points on the tip end. Hustle points, I believe they call them. Hustle points right there. Good on the bucket. He's got 12. Challenging the bigger defender, cutting him down to size with that one. Oh, that's a tough, tough shot. I mean, you have to have confidence in your abilities to even take it. Charlotte calls timeout. So, a whole new group on the floor now for Charlotte. Hornets trail by 17. Ball, the pass to Hayward. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Makes it off the glass. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Thomas against Ball. Lanier, that's good. Lanier's got 12. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. <laughs> yeah, they're pouring it on right here. Trying to give the opposition no light at the end of the tunnel. Now, here is Dumars. He kicks it to Thomas. Over ball. Thomas, no luck. They shoot again, and he tries off the glass, but it's no good. And a fast break now for the Hornets. Rozier's got the ball. Excellent D there from Hill. Detroit leading by 17. Thomas gets a wide-open look, and the three off target. Thomas gone two for five tonight. Shot on the wing. Hayward can hit. These guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assisting. And, and when everyone's involved offensively, it has a way of helping you on the defensive side as well. Oh, great flow to that possession. Two players totally in sync with each other. Pass to Rozier. Now Bridges. Detroit with the rebound. Lanier's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Here's Thomas. Good, the assist goes to Hill. He's got six. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need the basket. Out to the wing. No one near Rozier as he lets it fly. And the Hornets miss again. One on one here. Here's Thomas. Ball with the rebound. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. They get it back. Here's Washington. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. On an instinctual score with a strong build, Washington puts uh, opponents in compromising defensive positions. The Hornets have gone one for one, making their previous attempt at the line. Shooting two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Well, P.J. Washington defines what it means to be a modern big. I mean, the hybrid label has been turned into a positive. Ben Wallace, he's checked in for DeBusher. And here's Thomas, who brings it up for Detroit. And the call will be against LaMelo Ball. That is his first foul of the game. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. Determined to protect the lead with the all-out effort defensively. Superb anticipation on the block. Oh. 
get it, come get it. Hill kicks to Thomas. Passes it to Dumas. On defense, Bridges has a good mix of strength and speed. Keeps his man under solid pressure. Rozier. It's hauled in by Lanier. Lanier's got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Wallace trying to break free. Count the basket. And the Pistons lead by 21. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group, guys. Thomas against Ball. Knocks it loose. Now Detroit moving it up. There's Thomas with the three. Good, and it's Hill picking up the assist. Hill's got three assists in the game. The Hornets on offense. And here is Rozier. Nine points in the game so far. Six on the shot clock. Got a piece of it. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. It's blocked. Hayward looking around. Another field goal for him. Four for six shooting tonight. He's been fantastic, but he can't do it all by himself. Some of the other guys need to lighten the load and step up. It's Hill on the wing. And Hill throws it down. Oh, guys, we had to take flight to get to this game tonight, but here's a guy who simply takes flight and flies at will on the basketball court. I mean, it's pretty surreal to watch a guy who can elevate to that level. Detroit making a switch here. Hamilton's checked in. Free throw drops for Hill. And the word you got to use is explosive out there when, when talking about Grant Hill. He's one of those guys who doesn't wait for the game to come to him. He, he goes out and just makes things happen. Bridges finds Washington. Yeah, the defender all over. That's his first personal foul. The Hornets shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. Shooting two. DJ Washington. Shooting two. That free throw good from Washington. Griffin's checked in for Detroit. He's perfect from the line this time. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. Thomas against Ball. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And without a doubt, one of the greatest small men we've ever seen. Zeke possesses the skill and determination to just take over a game at any point. The Pistons shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. Two. That free throw good from Thomas. And both free throws good for Thomas. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Ball against Thomas. Here's Bridges. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. 
Bowles got his fourth assist in this one. Pistons leading by 23. Hamilton outside. Double team on Thomas. Here's Wallace, and it's denied. Oh, nice defense from Bridges. When he hustles like this, he's capable of swatting shots. And Hill over to help, and it's slammed in by Bridges. And using his athleticism to his advantage, like when Bridges goes up and finishes out loops. Floats it up for Hill. It's tipped. Bridges with the steal. And now here's Rozier, the fast break chance. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. It's his first trip to the line. Going to the line. The mellow ball. Shooting two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Ball. And the Pistons making a change here. Rodman's checked in. And so he makes both from the line. So it's the Pistons now. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. He dishes it to Griffin. To the paint, here's Wallace. Shot's good. Griffin making the play. And the Pistons lead by 21. But this is what you get from Griffin. Very willing to give it up to his open teammates. He has a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldrin. Kevin, thank you. Now, we have seen continued growth with the NBA's affiliated leagues the last few years. Think about the explosion in popularity of the WNBA, the Basketball Africa League, expansion of the 2K League, greater pay in the WNBA and the G League pathway, along with the unionization of G League players. The league continues to show its commitment to expanding opportunities on multiple levels. Guys, back to you. Thank you, David. Now here's Hayward. Isaiah Thomas missing his last shot. Bridges for three. And it's Griffin with the rebound. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Hamilton dishes to Griffin. Outside Thomas. And another make to his scoring column. His fifth basket of the game. Now shooting five of 11. And despite the size disadvantage attacking the heart, of that defense. Yeah, very aggressive. I mean, he takes on the challenge with no hesitation. Now, here's Rogier. Nine points in the game so far. And another make to his scoring column. His fifth basket of the game. Now shooting five of 11. And not his quarter, scoring-wise. Just one of seven from the field. The 19-foot shot. Thomas, no good. Hornets trail by 19. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Rip Hamilton picks that one up. Such a ruthless competitor. Rozier excels at attracting contact when he's going up with the service. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. Shooting two. And he can't get the first one. So an almost entirely new group in now for Charlotte. Biombo, he's checked in for Washington. Zeller comes in for Bridges. At Daniels, he's checked in for Gordon Hayward. And Devontae Graham subbed in for Ball. And he sinks the second. 143 left in the first half of the game. Rozier against Billups. The pass to Bing. Shot clock at six. Teardrop shot, and they'll keep possession. And that one's good by Rodman. 
and the Pistons lead by 20. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Now here's Zeller. Good work there as it goes. Zeller's got six points in the quarter. Oh, you have to appreciate the ball moving and the commitment to getting a high percentage look. Rozier with the steal. Off they go on a three-on-one break. Here's McDaniels. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. The Hornets have knocked down eight of nine free throw attempts. I'd say those numbers read pretty well. And they were 75% from the line a season ago. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Malik Monk, he's checked in for Rozier. Lambeer's checked in for Detroit. And McDaniels drops them both. Here's Bing. 51 seconds left in the first half. Pass to Billups. Fires for three, and another three for Detroit. And he's on a good pace here from three-point range. Made one in the first, two more here in the second. <laughs> it seems like with more to come. Pass to Biombo. Dishes it to Graham. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus-10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Phillips, no good. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D, just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Graham with the ball. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And so it's the Detroit Pistons with a 19-point advantage heading into the next quarter. But the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie. Detroit finds themselves ahead after two quarters. They are dominating the score. And that'll... And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Chauncey Billups has been sensational. And if he can keep shooting from deep like he did in the first half, he's going to be more than a handful. Yeah, the defense didn't do a very good job of staying connected to him. We'll see if they make an adjustment. They've got P.J. Washington all out there with Rozier, and it's Hayward, and it's Bridges in at the power forward. So that's the group out there for Charlotte. And so it's Ball with it. He brings it up for the Hornets. Passes to Washington. Rozier looking around. Right side, Ball. And they pick up two. Oh, I like the floor wearing this on display from Rozier. Awesome job finding the open team. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. That's good from Ball. Pistons leading by 18. There's the pass to Thomas. It's blocked. Oh, great instincts there from Washington. We needed the situation rising up to spike. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And that's what a team needs when they're trailing. Energy on D. Two 
Watch too much. On defense, the Hornets. And Dumars gets it to go. Dumars gone three of six from the floor. About one minute played here in the second half. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Ball. Thomas with the ball, now defended by Hayward. Upside Thomas. Here's Hill. Ball is trying to break free. Great positioning on the putback. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Pass to Washington. Hayward against Hill. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Uh, the strength of Hayward muscling through contact, refusing to give in. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. And when you shoot 86 from the line like he did last season, you usually cash in on those opportunities. And every season, I mean, Hayward plays with so much confidence these days. Detroit leading by 19 points. Down low, here's Lanier. Good, and the assist goes to Thomas. Lanier's got 18 points in the game. Oh, it's just been one of those nights from he got into the floor of the game and has not lost his touch. Pass to Washington. I see him, I see him. Hayward up top. He's guarded by Hill. Hayward can hit. Here are the Pistons with the ball. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. Yep, that one goes in there. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Hayward is doubled. Inside, Washington. And then Washington with the dunk. Wow, he's just incredible at understanding the game. Hayward is so good at making the defense pay for leaving guys open. Outside Dumars. Wallace, the pass to Hill. Now Thomas. And he could not get that one to go. What a contact, and he'll go to the line for two. LaMelo Ball picks one up, and this is his second trip to the line in the game. Thomas taking two shots. And the first one drops. And both free throws good for Thomas. Well, we're into the third quarter, just over two and a half minutes played. Ball against Thomas. Hayward outside. Hayward is double. Back to ball. Kicks it to Bridges. Five on the clock. Ball's knocked loose and taken away by Wallace. Thomas with the ball. Now guarded by Ball. And Hill has it in the corner. And it's off from three-point range. And the Hornets with possession here. Fades and shoots. Hayward can hit. And it's Thomas with the ball. He brings it up for the Detroit Pistons. Ball against Dumars. Passes it to Lanier. Back to Dumars. Off target from outside. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Hayward passes the ball. Now Rogier, covered by Dumas. Charlotte moving it around. Bridges kicks to Hayward. Unable to get that one. Hill with some nice D.
Here's Lanier. That one drops for him. Timeout, timeout. Lanier's got 22 points. And, and guys, he's been a problem this defense has not been able to solve tonight. L Lanier using that size along with the skill set to fully affect this game. Charlotte calls timeout. Definitely not pleased with their rebounding at the defensive end. The, the number of putbacks they've allowed has been terrible. I'm sure that's what he's going to address during this timeout. And the Hornets making a change here. Zeller's checked in, and a switcher also for Detroit. DeBusher is checked in. Here's Ball. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Ball's got nine. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. The pass to Lanier. Here's Hill. And he's going up for the alley-oop. And the slam dunk by Wallace. And the definition of teamwork right there on that alley-oop. And, Greg, what about the finish? Bringing it down with some Impressive. thunder. Yeah. To the inside. Ball kicks to Bridges. And there's the whistle. Three-second Three violation. Oh, costly error there. We'll see how they rebound from that miscue. Man, when you're playing from behind, that's the last thing you want to do. It make matters worse. Hamilton's checked in for the Pistons. Outside Hill. Here's Lanier, and he uses the glass on the layup. 24 points for him. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Now Rozier, he's got 12. Pass to Washington. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That's on Dave DeBusher. Well, I like that Washington isn't afraid to work for it. I mean, clashes with the defender, but still gets a shot on. This is his third trip to the free throw line. That free throw good from Washington. Some changes for Charlotte. McDaniels is checked in for Miles Bridges. Monk comes in for Terry Rozier. And Devontae Graham subbed in for ball. Hamilton outside. Outside Hill. Pass to Dumars. And the layup falls. Dumars got eight. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Dumars against Graham. He kicks it to Monk. Six to shoot. Passes it to McDaniels. It's stolen by Hill. And oh, here we go. Hill, nobody back. And Hill throws it down. Yeah, one of the great in-game dunkers we have. Grant Hill, he might not put on a show with his dunks, but it doesn't make him any less impressive. Monk, the pass to Zeller, and the dunk by Zeller. Oh, that's straight TNT, baby. Uh, Explosive. That was pretty, and he just has that effortless knack for getting inside. Hill, no good. Here's Washington. He's got 10. The dish to Graham. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. The Achilles heel of this team right now. Turnovers. Biombo, he's checked in for the Hornets. And a switcher also for Detroit. Griffin's checked in. Now, here's Dumars. He's got eight. The feed now to Hill. The shot will not fall. And Charlotte will come the other way. To the wing right side. Graham gets a wide open look. Buries it from three point range. He's got seven. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. It's Dumars on the wing. Shoots over Graham. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. Tells you a little something about their team. They've been able to pull in front despite his troubles tonight. Monk, the pass to Graham. The 
puts up a three. Griffin grabs the board. Knowing the kind of competitor he is, I know he's upset with his performance and with the score. Hill, no good. Here's the Hornets with the ball. For the three. And it's Graham missing. Dumars with it. Working on Biombo. Here's Hamilton. And they had their chances. Two offensive rebounds. But they still come up empty. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. Jalen McDaniels. Shooting. First one falls for Miles Bridges. He's checked in for Biombo. And McDaniels drops them both. Here's Bing. Kicks to Griffin. Left side, Billups. Here's Stackhouse. Tries to save it, but they recover it. Now that's made a huge difference in this game, if you ask me. Their offensive rebounding has been sensational. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Graham surveying the floor. Second chance shot. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. That's on Bill Ambeer. Well, you can't blame the defender. He was trying to be aggressive. But Zeller with just too much size and athleticism. This is his first free throw of the game. And the first one at the line is good. The younger brother of Tyler Zeller and former son's big man Luke Zeller, Cody has a good chance to be the best of all three. And so Zeller nails both of them. And Detroit has possession. Here's Bing. Out to the right wing. Here's Stackhouse. And he drops it in from the low post. Stackhouse has got five. And if there's one thing Dave Bing excels at, it's finding the open man. His passes are precise, whether he's on the move or standing still. Shot by Zeller, no good. And here's Griffin. He'll bring it up for Detroit. Here's Stackhouse. The rim-rattling two-handed jam. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Uh, starting to take over here, building a big lead that could ultimately prove insurmountable. Graham dishes to Monk. And Zeller kicks to Monk. Lock at six. The Hornets need to get a shot off here. Here's Bridges. No good that time. Great D that time from Griffin. Bridges has gone two for six from the floor so far. The pass to Bing. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Griffin. Griffin's got his fourth assist in this one. And it's the Hornets with the ball. 152 left to play in the third. And here is Monk. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Out to the right wing. Here's McDaniels. Detroit with the rebound. Griffin's got his sixth rebound on the night.
and Billups gets it to go. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Now, here's Monk, who's guarded by Billups. To halt the run, and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's his first personal call. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. At about an 82% clip a season ago, so I'm sure he'll take those numbers. Shooting two. Two shots. Relax on the first. The first free throw is good. And the Hornets making a change here. Hayward's checked in. And Detroit with a change here, too. Rodman, he's checked in for Blake Griffin. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Here's Bing. To the middle. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Miles That's on Miles Bridges. <laughs> and as a free throw shooter, Robin has his challenges. One of those guys who almost shoots a better percentage from the field. Shooting two. And that one misses. And the second free throw, good. Seven left here in the third quarter. Hayward outside. Charlotte moving the ball around. Back to Monk. Five to shoot. The second chance effort. Detroit with the rebound. Rodman's got seven rebounds in the game. Pass to Billups. Three-pointer. The three-pointer is right on target. Phillips has got five points in the quarter. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor spacing. Well, when he's hitting from range on a consistent basis, it makes everything easier offensively. Let's a floater go. And it's finished off by Graham as he lays it in. He's been a different player since halftime. Coming on strong now. Phillips with the ball. 20 points for him. Pass to Bing. Offline with his three. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. Pistons ahead. As they end the third quarter on a 14-6 run. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them and what a beautiful feed. I mean, well, if you're the coaching staff, I mean, you're pumped up. This highlight will not only make it on the TV, it'll make it into the film session tomorrow. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. And so Wanamaker will bring it up for Charlotte and on the floor for Detroit here in the fourth. We've got John C. Billups. Rodman is out there with Jerry Stackhouse. Then there's Wallace, and it's Thomas in at the point guard position. Three-pointer, Hayward doesn't go for him. 
And the Pistons now going the other way. And not his best day from three-point range. I mean, just one in the first half and still looking for his first here in half number two. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Here's Wanamaker. He's guarded by Thomas. And they've won the rebound battle so far, and it's translated to the scoreboard. Well, they look like they just want it more right now. you got to love the hustle. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to him? Uh, exactly. Give it to the guy with the hot hand as long as you can. Let him try to close this out. Hayward against Wallace. Hayward can hit. He hasn't been able to find any kind of groove this quarter. I mean, it seems like he's been running on fumes since halftime. Passes to Wallace. Back to Thomas. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Well, you can learn a lot by watching him operate in their offense. Thomas gotten six baskets in 14 attempts. Wanamaker the pass to Hayward. That's tipped. No good that time. Good D by Thomas. And the Pistons with possession. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. And not the prototype power forward, but he has tremendous athletic ability. Wanamaker looking over the floor. Hayward outside, looking to end the run. Drains it from beyond the arc. Wow, his first triple of the second half gives him two on the ninth. He's not making much of an impact from deep. Outside Thomas. Rodman up top. Thomas dishes to Rodman. To the wing on the left, and the wide open shot from Billups. And right away, they match it with a three pointer of their own. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, these days, so much emphasis on the perimeter game, but you can see why after that sequence. For three, Hayward. Hayward missing again. And it's Detroit's ball. And now in transition is Stackhouse. Here we go. And it's good two points. Thomas got four points this quarter. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm. And you can see how they're finishing their plays. Yeah, right now it feels like they can't miss. We'll see how long they can make this last. And here we go. The Pistons fast break stolen by Martin. Fast break now for Charlotte. And there's the pass to Wanamaker. Count that one. Look, that's a nice play. You need low post scoring to keep your offense balanced. Pass to Stackups. Feeds it to Wallace. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. And really the story of this second half. One team getting the shots they want. The other, not so much. Yeah, you can clearly see which offense is better right now. We'll see if that continues the rest of the way. Hayward outside. And it's sent back by Wallace. And this is why Wallace is an elite level defender. Has a great sense of timing for when to rise up and contest shots. Wallace right side. And the refs are going to rule that unnecessary contact. It's a flagrant one foul. And Kevin, that's a pretty dangerous play right there. I mean, I don't like to see a player put an opponent in harm's way. As much as you just saw him do there, glad they pinned a, a flagrant on it. Yeah, you're right, Greg. The officials were all over it. They weren't going to let him off the hook that time. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw, good Wallace. And Wallace, just an unreal defender. An undersized center who blocks shots and pounds the glass like a madman.
Ball is its two free throws. Washington's checked in for Charlotte. Hamilton's checked in for Detroit. Pistons passing it around. And Wallace slams it in. Such incredible hops for a center. Look, it allows him to hold his own against any other five in the league. Here's Wanamaker. Pass to Washington. And here's Martin. And it's sent back by Wallace. And now the Pistons fast break. Hamilton's got the ball. Phillips passes to Rodman. It's tipped. Now Martin. Down low. Here's Biombo. And it's sent back by Wallace. And he's able to get it back. Passes it to Hamilton. Here's Rodman. Finished off the break. Rodman's got four this quarter. And great hustle to turn that block shot into a fast break opportunity. Big time play on both ends. And Martin now top of the key. Now the pass to Wanamaker. Six on the shot clock. Now here's Biombo. Defense right on him. No good there. Detroit with the ball. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Billups. Here's Rodman. That one misses. Here's Wanamaker. He kicks to Martin. To stop the drought. Rebound by Wallace. Wallace has got nine rebounds now tonight. Here's Hamilton. And yes, a nice assist from Billups. Billups has got six assists now in the game. He's just stretching them out. The defense has got to do a better job of staying attached to him. Yeah, I mean, that's not a guy you can leave alone. Not if you have any hope of closing the gap. Oh, that's not the kind of interior defense you want. Way too slow to protect the run. The three from Billups. That's Biombo with the rebound. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Martin finds Washington. Rodman with the rebound. Rodman's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Tries from 16. And it's Hamilton that time on the assist from Stackhouse. And this is really what Hamilton does so well. A premier mid-range scorer who just finds ways to create space for that shot. Knocked away and stolen by Hamilton. Outside, Billups. Bangs home the trifecta. Billups has got eight points here in this quarter. Three triples in the first half, three in the second. Boy, do they add up. Outside, Mark. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. At the line for your Hornet, shooting two, Cody Martin. Free throw good, Martin. Daniels, he's checked in for P.J. Washington. He hits one and misses one, each at the line. Now the Pistons with it. And that one's good. Bing. 
Uh, good anticipation on the feed. Uh, he, he knows exactly where to go with that ball. Now, here is Martin. That's his second personal foul. It's Martin on the wing. He's covered by DeBusher. Tipped away. Just five on the clock. Martin, the pass to Wanamaker. And they've got to get back to what they were doing in that first half. If they want to somehow win this game, the offense has gone stagnant. Uh, for the most part, he's been sitting back tonight, letting his teammates carry the load. Nothing wrong with that. Here's Wanamaker. Pass to McDaniels. Shoots over Griffin. And the Hornets miss again. And here's Hamilton. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Oh, my goodness. Say, save that one. I, I want to see that again. Me too. Just absolutely beautiful. And so Wanamaker will bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets. Pass to McDaniels. Back to Wanamaker. Puts up a three. And Beer grabs the board. Wanamaker's gone one of three on the night. Hamilton dishes to DeBusher. The pass to Bing. Driven trying to get open, and that one's good. Bing. And haven't we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness about it. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Pass to Wanamaker. Can they get it? Second shot opportunity, and that's two points on the layup. Wanamaker's got four points now in the quarter. Here's Bing. One thirty-five left in the fourth quarter of this one. Pass to Griffin. Here's Bing. Shot's good. Griffin making the play. Bing's got 11 points here in just the second half. Bing's gone one of two from three-point land. Outside, Mark. Outside, Mark. Shot clock at six. And Wanamaker has it in the corner. Over Bing. And the shot no good, a bit short. Does a good job just to get the shot off clean, even if he can't knock it down. The fadeaway is really his only choice there. Passes it to Lambeer. 43 seconds left to play here in the fourth. That one doesn't go. Hamilton against Martin. Kicks to Martin. The pass to McDaniels. From outside, off the mark. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. This isn't like him, and he knows it. The best thing they can do is try to get him more easy looks. Hamilton outside. And so Detroit takes this one by a big margin. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient.